How's it hanging all you gamers? EG Psychotic here bringing you another Call of Duty Ghosts gameplay commentary. So what I have for you guys today is a MLG variant 3v3 uh, domination gameplay. But the reason why I'm bringing you guys a video today is because of a special topic. So if you guys watched, uh, I think it was my last video or the one before that, we were talking about the Optic Gaming roster changes as well as MV, TK, and a bunch of other skull as well. The Optic Gaming roster didn't last very long. Uh, they already disbanded after two days or three days, however long it was. And I'm going to talk about the problem with that and then the new pickups and my opinions on that new team. Uh, so the problem with Parasite, Ricky, and Clayster on the same team was that they were all shot callers. They all like to do their um, own thing and kind of lead um, lead the game, like in-game. They like to be in-game leaders. And um, with Parasite and Ricky were constantly bitching about bitching to each other uh, in game uh, they really didn't get along very well uh, um, Matt kinda um, or Nate shot kinda budged in a little bit but he even tried, tried um, kinda stood quiet a little bit Clayster muted his mic some video or some times when they were streaming or whatever and uh, he muted his mic and he would just laugh hysterically because he was like wow why is my team bitching like that uh, so anyways uh, Parasite um, I guess left Optic Gaming uh, last night sometime, and then uh, Nade Shot, Clayster, and Ricky uh, were actually in a group text, and they were talking about uh, who talking about like who they should pick up and different things like that. And then all of a sudden, Ricky um, just left. Uh, Ricky just left the text, and he just stopped replying or whatever. And then uh, I guess Clayster saw a video on Reddit or something, and it said uh, that uh, Ricky was leaving. Uh, optic or whatever and he was gonna go join uh, curse LV with uh, Parasite Killa and miracles and they were dropping nameless uh, nameless and uh, Ricky are the same type of player uh, so that really uh, doesn't surprise me I feel like that's gonna be actually a pretty good fit over there at curse LV uh, so um, yeah so Parasite and Ricky both left and this left uh, Clayster and Nate shot on optic and uh, they were looking for two uh, so the Problem with Parasite, Ricky, and Clayster was another reason was that they were all assault rifle players, and w w I feel like when they were looking into their new roster, they were really looking for people that could run submachine guns. And um, Embos is one of the best at being a submachine gun. He doesn't care about his stats. Uh, he doesn't really care about um, anything other than winning. And I feel like that's the kind of player that they needed. Uh, Embos has one of the best shots in the game. He can slay with the best of them, but he doesn't care about his stats, and that's something that they really needed. Uh, he can pick up kills, and he can go for the objective, and that's something that they needed uh, with Nadeshot. Uh, Nadeshot's going to be that player that constantly goes for the objective, and then Embos is kind of like his support player. Uh, and then they picked up uh, Saints. Uh, Saints. Saints is an absolute monster. Um... He's been around, I think, since like Black Ops 1 and maybe before that. I'm not sure, but I didn't really know about him until Black Ops 1. And he's an absolute monster. He kills everything in sight. Uh, over, he just came from Strictly Business Gaming. And uh, Strictly Business was a dominating team. I believe they got fourth place at UMG Philly. And Saints played out of his mind. Um, Sensor, I feel like, is a good player. But, I mean, if you put in a... Um, someone as experienced as Nate Shot in that role, I feel like you're going to benefit a lot more. And then if you bring in someone like Clayster who gets hyped, uh, Saints is a really emotional player, so uh, when he's hyped, he plays 10 times better, and when he's down, um, he doesn't play as well. But when you have a guy like Clayster on the team, he constantly keeps the team hyped, and I feel like if Saints stays hyped, and you have Clayster staying hyped, you have Nate Shot staying hyped, and Embos is kind of a calm player, uh, so he's going to pretty much stay focused, and I feel like this team's going to be an absolute monster. I felt like they should have picked up Embos and Saints instead of Parasite in the first place, and I feel like that team would have been a lot better, but now that they dropped Ricky too, Clayster gets to go back to using an AR where, I mean, he's comfortable, and uh, you pick up two amazing submachine guns like Embos and Saints, and I feel like this team's going to do extremely well. A lot of people aren't going to expect them to do well, um, but I mean... A lot of people will. I mean, a lot of people will. Embos knows how to win. 
Uh, Saints also knows how to win. Nate Schott's Kylex B champion. Clayster won seven out of eight championships with complexity. And I feel like that team's uh, going to benefit uh, from those three players being on the team with Nate Schott. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to kind of bring you guys a little update about Optic Gaming. Um, I know you guys probably follow them on Twitter and you guys uh, see everything that's going on. But I just want to do a little video and talk about uh, my opinion on it. Uh, so that's going to be it for today. Expect another video tomorrow. I'm about to uh, probably record another one right now uh, for you guys. I'm going to try to uh, keep posting uh, daily uh, so that way I can uh, come out to you guys every every single day pretty much. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you guys give this video a like if you really enjoyed it. It helps my channel grow a ton. Uh, and if you uh, want to watch another video tomorrow, make sure you subscribe. And uh, this has been EJ Sakotic, and I'm out. Peace.